making of the way video was very amazing it happened during the time we were touring Dar es Salaam we were on the Nile Blues tour yeah that was October 2022 and November and while touring we did so many shows 23 shows in a matter of two months and uh, while we were at one of our last shows at Trinity yeah at Trinity restaurant in Oyster Bay well in the concert in the crowd there was someone with a camera and he kept on filming the whole show for us and after the show he met my manager uh, Aika Matemu and told her that she he was a filmmaker a photographer and videographer from America and Puerto Rico his name was Jordan or just Kiat and uh, we discussed about uh, opportunities things we could work on together and uh, realized that uh, yeah we could shoot a video because we had songs which were ready we just needed uh, production and we had been scouting for scenes so the following day was sunday we had a concert at rustland whereby we agreed that after the concert at rustland we would drive all the way to kigamboni uh, where well, this was this was the location where we were going to shoot the video uh, at Kim Beach in Geza Ulole Kigamboni we drove uh, past uh, across the ferry into Kigamboni past Mdimwema all the way into Geza Ulole yeah and there at Geza Ulole there's a place called Kim Beach Kim Beach and at Kim Beach you'll find Ras OG yeah Ras OG with his family there Mama Rita and Rita and they have this beautiful cottage that we would go to every day when we were in Kigamboni we would go there and chill and meditate the kids would be swimming and so we figured that this location would be perfect for a music video and so Right there at Kim Beach, there was a guy who always every day came with a horse while we were enjoying our time there. We'd seen with horses and we had planned that we were going to shoot with a horse. So we arrived there early, tried to check the guy with the horse and he told us that that day the horse wasn't available, that it was sick so we had to wait for uh, till the next day. So we put our tents because we had planned to go camping. We put our tents there because we wanted to get some sunrise shots in the morning. So our idea was to camp at Kim Beach and film for the film for the whole day till evening, and also wake up early uh, before sunrise to, to get the sun as it rises up in the sky. So this was the plan. So. Even though we did not have, we could not get the horse on that day, we figured we start shooting other scenes while we, we, we wait for that scene of the horse. So we went on with shooting other shots. Uh, the beach there is lovely, the water was clean. We found a, a guy with a boat, a fisherman with a boat right there and we asked if we could use his boat for one of the shots and he agreed and that's the shot where I was sitting on the boat uh, chilling and meditating and singing and while there we also figured we, we make a scene of me uh, finding the golden ring because uh, the whole song is about this golden ring that I give to this lady and finding it inside the water so this was created while we were there So the camping was fine and the whole night it was okay. Well, one funny experience and when we woke up in the morning early to find Joseph's tent, it was all lying down. It had <laughs> been blown by the wind and he was still sleeping in it. Uh, so that was like around five when uh, Jordan woke me up. And so we woke up and to get the first shots before the sun rise. And the idea was to have me running running to the sunrise uh, along the along the beach you know so we did that shot and it was amazing capturing the sunrise with the drone and me running there it was 
quite magical you know dressed up in in my Maasai traditional clothes my Lubegas so it was quite amazing to get that shot we also did some shots while singing put a microphone right there on the beach and uh, and while singing uh, right there like a performance shot so this was also quite nice and uh, the morning scene was quite amazing we did quite a lot and uh, in two hours we had captured so much uh, by the time joseph and aika are waking up me and jordan had already done the the morning scenes with the saxophone by the ocean we had done the running shots we had done the drone shots of me running the performance shots uh, of me in the early morning singing by the ocean so this was also amazing and towards evening we decided we make a fire scene <laughs> so we lit a bonfire there at kim beach and even though it was hard lighting the fire at first because it was so windy it was so windy <laughs> so i had to go through so many matchbox sticks before we got the fire running and it was amazing when the fire came you know we had some nice shots on the fire well chilling out on the fire also so it was sort of a work but also a relaxing period like you go camping to enjoy while you're still working so that was the mood because we would stop by go eat some mihogo and we also did some shots uh, in the night right there on the on, on on the beach right there near the ocean and these shots were amazing because they look different like in black and white We also had some nice scenes me playing the adungu which is the 10 string harp that King David played and it was nice there was a football match going on kids coming to play right there at the beach some youth teams and so it was also nice to see the people around there and the concept of the video was to use a uh, brother Oji's cottage as my home of me rising up early so you could see me doing my yoga stretches waking up in the morning from my house and you know so that was the whole idea of a Maasai uh, living by the beach by this cottage of this Rasta Maasai living by the beach near this cottage that was the concept of the video and so I think we managed to to get what we wanted because uh, after the editing of the video, we were like, wow, this is what we did. <laughs> so, yeah. Later on, we got the guy with the horse to bring the horse. And today he brought a brown horse because he normally has a gray one. But today he brought the brown one. And at first I thought it was going to be easy to ride the horse. Well, <laughs> it wasn't as easy as I thought. The horse kept on jumping high and at first when you're not used to it you get to hurt yourself the thighs were hurting <laughs> so that was my experience riding the horse but uh, it was successful i managed to ride it around and bring it around to meet the queen and got her also onto the horse aika was so scared to get onto the horse you know she was it, i think it was her first time so we i had to calm her down and tell her it is okay and so we walked we walked uh, across the beach uh, with the horse for that last scene so the whole video we did it in two days you know and it was quite magical because we managed to cover so much in those two days yeah? and the thing is because we had already planned for the location we had scouted for the location you know we had already planned about the sceneries what we wanted with the horse we already knew what we wanted and that's why we were able to get all those shots like boom 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 yeah so that's the way we video Where are we? Yeah, man, we are at Kigamboni, in Kigamboni, Gezaulole, Gezaulole, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.